Oh, what's good with y'all YouTube? It's your boy Chris back at it again with another video for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm back with another video this week. What is this on the camera? Is that on the camera? I don't know. What is that? You know, last video looked like I had a booger in my nose and then, hold on. Give me a second, let me wipe, let me wipe y'all real quick. Let me make sure this thing clear. Or is it just my mirror? I don't know. I think it's just my mirror. I think we good. So, y'all, if y'all new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, um, y'all already, y'all already know why I'm here. Just a quick update. Shout out to my subscriber, John D on the last video. Um, he was kind of having the same problems. I was, I was having with my trunk, having like a pool of water in it. So basically I, I scheduled a, uh, Tesla appointment because shoot, my car is brand new. Might as well let Tesla take care of it. Um, but yeah, cause I tried to extract the water, but it's still like water in there. So uh, he's he just basically got to take the liner out in the trunk and just vacuum out that water, suction out the water out there. So I'm going to have Tesla dealership look at it and hopefully it's free. If not, I'll figure out how to do it myself. So I got that scheduled up. But um, some really cool things happened this weekend, uh, this holiday weekend. So the interface for my Tesla got a little update version, version 11. So Tesla dropped a new software update and it's version 11. They got like a whole bunch of new features um, for all the different models. So I'm gonna take y'all through some of them. Um, the Basically the, the first things first, as you can see, it's a new interface. Like I said, so that's one new cool update. So everything's like arranged differently. So it's like really cool. So the first thing I'm gonna show y'all is now you can do like a little light show. So you go to the little toolbar here. So you can like start a light show and you can basically do this. Anybody can create a light show as long as you have a computer um, at home and you know, um, you can create one. Obviously you have to have a Tesla to install it to your Tesla. So basically you would have to take the USB and install your light show to your Tesla and do that. I think it comes with one pre-installed, but uh, they, I think it comes with a light, a light and, a, and a music file already installed. But if you do it on your computer, you can put any music you want, things like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, so also navigation got updated. So it looks like, for instance, like if I was going here, now you can add stops. You can add stops to it. I think that's really cool. That's really convenient. I love this restaurant. If y'all in Seattle, go check out Taste of the Group, man. That's the spot. Um, we got some new games. We got uh, an update to the battle, uh, Polytopia. Uh, we got Sonic the Hedgehog. That's pretty cool. It requires a gaming controller, though. So um, if you want to play, I definitely, we got a bunch of controllers in the house. So. Uh, if y'all if y'all want to see me play some Sonic on here, just let me know. I'll try to figure out, um, try to get the kids and stuff and see what I need to sync it, sync it to to play video games on here. Uh, what else we got? We got some new entertainment in theater. So they got TikTok. They added TikTok here, and they got um, I think also on here they got a uh, boombox, boombox. They updated the boombox. Uh, so you can now you can use the megaphone feature and you can entertain a crowd with your with your media player when parked You can also adjust the sound your car makes please check local laws before use in public spaces. So similar thing you can connect the USB and um, You know basically DJ you can be like a big boombox radio with your car with the speakers outside of your Tesla and then you can use the microphone the megaphone to to announce your voice outside the car and it like puts it like in a different like alien voice like it, it, it makes your it makes your voice sound funky basically uh, we also got some audio updates so there's some 
there's some new stuff with audio. So let's see if there's see if there's anything in here where we can see that. Um, and also you can see in the driving situation, um, a lot of this stuff is changed up. So this, the windshield wiper stuff used to be right down here and they moved it up here. So that's something to get used to. Um, you know, sentry mode and everything like that. Pedal and steering, uh, that's something new. I think it was just pedals. I don't think it was steering before, but um, it seems pretty much the same. You got the, you got the same controls there charging changed a little bit um, you can switch up your charging how you want that set up and it shows you basically you can see what your last supercharging uh, appointment was and how much you spent then uh, you can look at your autopilot features all the things you want set up on here I just move something speed limit display boom 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 and you got your locks, walk away, driver, door, lock mode, line the uh, first unlocking the vehicle, car left open, okay, we got lights, so that's some of the light configurations right there, ooh, ambient lights, like that, display, Seems pretty regular, degular. Got your trips. So I believe this is new, uh, where it kind of calculates your consumption for every trip. So I believe that's new. Um, navigation, same old. Nothing's really changed in there. Uh, mobile access. That's pretty much the same software updates upgrades all that's the same but something also that i really like with this new interface um is that you can kind of customize this so um i never used the phone feature so you can drag you can drag whatever icons you want um so you know i never use this camera so i don't really need that i probably use bluetooth don't use the browser i don't use messages uh, probably use theater a lot so I use that and that's really cool I like the fact that you can customize that down there that's really cool I really think that's really dope and then uh, this configuration kind of changed you got a uh, you got keep dog camp and um, now you can you can split between the two sides so now you can set your stuff you don't have to have the same temperature on each side so now you can set it differently on this side and split it so the passenger can set theirs differently and then the rear is similar so you can change the heated stuff back here and it, for whatever reason now you can't you can't when you go to rear you can't adjust the front stuff anymore you got to go back to front and then you can adjust the front seats and stuff like that so um that's basically the new stuff that I've seen so far. Um, I'm super excited for it. It seems pretty dope. So I'm going to keep messing with it. Um, compared to the old compared to the old setup, uh, I think this is much more cleaner. Um, I think the old setup was a lot easier to use, though. Um, just because, you know, this is something new and it's kind of complicated. I was just so used to the old setup, so... Uh, but I, hey, I always like something new, so I think I'll get used to this pretty quick. And I like the new additions they added. Um, I'm surprised it took so long to add some of those things that they added, like the additional stops and stuff like that. But um, I'm glad we have it, and I'm definitely going to take advantage of it. So um, let me know what y'all think down below. Once again, I'm in the Model Y, so let me know how it, any updates for the X or the S might be a little different. They might have some additional updates, but... I'm so so far I'm excited for it. I like the fact that Tesla um, is able to do the software updates, and you know you don't have to get the latest and greatest models or whatever like that. So um, yeah, once again, this is your boy Chris. Thank y'all for watching my video. Make sure you hit, hit a like. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, comment down below if you know if you got any tips and tricks, tips and tricks for Tesla stuff. And, uh, and this is your boy Chris, and we out. Peace.